control, so uh, listen carefully, please. The situation is this. Hitler is winning. So, we need drastic measures. And you are those measures. You're the best, most capable killers we can find. Your skills are second to none, you're survivors, and you get the job done. And the job that we need doing is winning this war. Churchill has given us a mission. Attack the Reich any way we can. In short, set Europe ablaze, as it were. Our target, Hitler. That short ass kraut, this nasty Nazi friends and everything they stand for. We will be merciless. No rules. This isn't a gentleman's war. Blast their trains, blow their bridges, burn the enemy alive. Now, having read your files, I don't expect fellows like you to do this uh, purely out of sense of duty. So if a little Nazi gold happens to go missing, no questions will be asked. History won't remember you, but uh, your deeds will define it. Good luck. So, I tweeted out at work today that I was bored. And bored at work and asked people to send games. This is the one I got. So, I feel it would just be nice to try it out. I mean, it's pretty much payday in a World War II setting. And one of the things I've always had problems with, with, with in Payday is the infinite number of policemen you have to mow down. Uh, if you followed my channel so far, you know that I actually, you know, prefer to be the policeman. Uh, but I think that this game might actually be a bit, bit more what I'm looking for, really. Close range combat and melee. Assault. To be fair, the kind of the kind of um... okay. So reduce damage consumption and heal. Insurgents are elusive, harder to hit, and got a speed boost. I have to say that I think assault is more my kind of character. So I'll just. Don't be fooled by his English gentleman act. Okay, so th there's some talking in the background, but it's not really, not really something I can hear. Uh, perhaps my most dignified soldier, and certainly one of my most effective. Wolfgang is a force to be reckoned with. Actually, playing as a German defector sounds like a lot of fun. I'm not sure I spelled this correctly, uh, but we'll, we'll see. Passage, be mindful of God. Enter the church. Good luck to my partner. I see a God. Best to stay out of sight for now. Okay, so we need to sneak. Oh, we need to actually kill him. We can't throw the knife, but. Okay, so target is down. Oh, we need to do some hitman stuff and put oh. the corpse away. You, dead sir, are heavier than you. This is and ammo. And he's out of I the way. Put it to better use than a corpse. I admire the optimism of placing this lock here. Oh God. Size a cop. Requires a. Zone. I expected more challenge. Hmm. Where is this Heikel, he, 111 bombers. Let's see if we can get through this. It appears oh. I must find a way inside. Yeah. To use dynamite. The gunplay really reminds of Payday, actually. But the graphics, I mean, I have actually... I, I got the feeling I turned them up. Oh, I need to use my warp cry. What's my warp cry then? 
Ah, there we go. Okay, so shouting in Germany is my war cry. That's legit. Targets has been destroyed. I like the fact that they've kept the this chain looks quite foreboding. The payday tradition of giving their characters some personalization. I actually like that. It might and fit this. I mean, the game is pretty much trying to be a the what Expendables the game, or maybe Kelly's Heroes, stuff like that. Damn it. I keep pressing it far too late. Damn it. There we go. So apparently we need to unpack all this gear that Allied oh, Intelligence managed to get in here. Working. Excellent. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mrs. White, and Control has asked me to supervise the RAID project. You can use this radio to contact other RAID operatives and join forces with them on missions. Likewise, they can use their radios to join you, should you choose to allow them. As well as helping you unwind between missions, this of course, some unnecessary collection, collection minigame. Challenge, challenge cards can be used to make a mission harder, in return for increased rewards, while booster cards can be used to give you a temporary advantage against the enemy. Was that a Garand clip? I mean, we, I have to listen to that again. Yep, it was. It, well, at least it sounded like one. Here, you'll be able to recruit and switch between different raid members to take on missions. The more sartorially minded can also decide which outfits their operatives will wear. Okay, so. The weapons bench is where you can upgrade your armor. Sweet. And importantly, where you'll choose your loadout before going on missions. Apparently, we need to unpack everything before we can get this to the fun part. This training is where you'll be able to expand and hone your raid team's talents and abilities. Tell you to be on the lookout for opportunities to misplace a little Nazi gold. If you do happen to come across some, you might want to consider using some of it to spruce up this place. Why would I? It's a temporary headquarters. Why would I sacrifice my retirement fund? The Mats table is where you'll find briefings and intel for every mission I make available to you. And is where you choose which mission to execute next. When you're out in the field, be sure to keep a lookout for the dog tags of fallen Allied soldiers. Collecting them will allow us to inform their families of their fates. And don't worry, you'll be rewarded for your efforts. You've done well to get the camp set up. Now I suggest you get some rest before embark. Right, so that was the tutorial. Let's see what the actual gameplay is like. Because that will be the more interesting part, if I have to say. Tutorial levels are usually the same regardless. So they actually managed to get a little bit of action into this one. Dust in the chamber. Why can't these assholes look after things? Alright, so we have the M1 carbine, we have the Sten. And there are some real oh, the Sterling, sweet. Machine carbine. It's a submachine gun. You silly people. Mostly the gun, shotgun. STG. I'm sorry, uh, the silence you're hearing now is my... What the fuck is this entire... 
Look here, Ghost Recon Wildlands, Payday, and now this shit, all seems to insist on, yeah, let us have this elite special forces team that uses civilian magazines for their weapons. Please stop doing that. I mean, just... Aside from giving us access to high-capacity magazines, there shouldn't actually be any reason for us to ch get to ch change the magazine in the game at all. So this shit, stop that. This is an MP40, not an MP38, thank you. I like the fact that they made the MG42 portable, though. I've, I'm a bit worried why they wouldn't include the FG42, but maybe they just mix them up, I don't know. I know this is an arcade game, and at least it wears it on its sleeve, unlike Call of Duty that tries to be realistic and is just fucked up. Anyhow, let's see if we can upgrade this in any way. We can increase the mag size. This will turn it into a uh, M2 carbine, a carbine actually. And apparently I need to kill enemies in order to get some, some of the upgrades and similar. I can live with that. I also like that the, the, the decrease recoil just rem just puts on a wooden stock. I can live with that. That's a good change. I feel I have to point that out because yeah. I'm not gonna change character, but I'm gonna see what customization options are available. So Highland Stalker jacket? No. He's a, a German tropical shirt, a Waffen SS leather jacket. And most of these seems to be mission rewards. Okay, so here we go again. This, apparently, according to this, is a United States Air Force flight jacket. Never mind the fact that when this game takes place, it was the U.S. Army Air Force. I mean, it wasn't... You know what, never mind. Uh, what I do have a room going to mind is the naval aviation patch here, and what looks like a fucking Tomcat patch here. You know what, if I am going to point out all these things, we're not even gonna go into the game. So, we got Highland Stalker Trousers. No. I mean, I think we gotta stick with the, with the SS pants here. With, yeah, we're gonna keep the Reiter and we're gonna go on a mission. Me going on a mission will most likely be seriously. All right, let's join this and see if we get to play with this. If if I so learned something from Payday, it's that if you try and join a Payday game, then you get kicked. So hopefully that will not be our fate here. Hopefully we'll, we will actually be able to play a match from this game without getting kicked, you know. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, so dramatic music, sweet. Okay. I think we need to escort the payload without, you know... One down. I want to take terrain. Need to lay down some cover fire on that building. Make sure that. Okay. 
Okay, so we got tangos behind us as well. Uh, yeah, we got kind of a different area now. that the enemy gets very hard to see at the distance. I'm, I mean, this could be just a map feature, but I, for some reason I don't really think so. But I like the fact that they are coming from all directions. Let's grab some ammo. Keep going. Yeah, for some reason, the enemy are less visible when using aim down sights. Meaning that this kind of distance shooting is not really... I mean, the game doesn't impress all that much. Because right now, we also have... First of all, far too loud music. I know they're trying to make this into, you know, an epic moment where you're fighting against the Nazis and everything like that. But that's not how it comes off to me. Rather, it's... I don't know what sound levels I have on the screen, but I'm actually worried that it will be drowned out by the music. So what I'm gonna do, actually, is I'm gonna turn down the music volume a lot. And I'm gonna raise the vo voiceover volume. They shot that thing. Suck it up. Put him in the ground. And hopefully that will. Yeah, now the truck is loud instead. The sound levels are all over the place. Out of ammo. I know there are, there is ammo somewhere around there, but okay, so far so good. Yeah, we didn't get any of those bonuses for good reason. Okay, so we are fully loaded and back in the base. Apparently we keep on... Oh, so here we have proficiencies with our class and everything like that. Weapons, switch, mounted gunner, agile. Yeah, I think that was our... I don't know how many points we actually do got for this. No, we just got one of them. Let's see if my mates here want to keep on... Playing or not? Sorry, but we are... Yeah, apparently. Let's do this. Hell! All 
Okay, kill Gavin Nazis and set Schloss Bloomberg ablaze by igniting the barrels of fuel. Sounds nice. Now, you're all clear on the objectives? We shoot the barrels, right? Burn this fucking place down. Kill fascists. Many, many fascists. Then run flag up four. Is easy. <laughs> Party's in full swing by the sound of it. Okay, that Russian was actually kinda kinda funny. Only kinda. But I'm not gonna give it too much. I know they're basically caricatures. Helped. Time wasted. Better than nothing, perhaps. Oh ah, god. I see a barrel. Take aim, fire, and we get this party started. Disappointing. Okay. No oh, crap. Why do we need to swap the flags? We have an entire castle bearing down on us, and apparently we are going to swap out the flags. Why? I will not comment on is how unrealistic this this paragraph is. I mean, it's ridiculous in its entirety, but I'm not going to comment on that further than just say it's ridiculous, right? Mostly because I suspect you already know it's ridiculous, and that is my opinion. However, what is less funny is that we are running out of ammo. Okay, so swap flag, kill Nazis. So kill Nazis is an actual objective, nice. I'll be happy to do that. We killed about half the Nazis we need to kill. Okay, so barrels have been shot, now all we need to do is shoot more Nazis.
over here, pal. Ribbit! Just... Reload. Four rounds left. You know, it's the level like this that really wish I had the MP42. Oh, that's the melee attack. Good. I was wondering if there was, if there was one. I have to say, so far the game doesn't really impress me. Payday was a totally different experience that relied a lot of your planning. There was still a lot of tactics involved in it. But this thing is basically just, okay, I, I guess I can shoot a bit, but... Ah, crap. Taking fire. Nazis. Oh god. We're out of ammo for all our weapons, except free grenades. Over here, pal. I reset it, but I can't be dagger. Crap, I'm dry. So there's the grenades. There we go, grenades. I'm out of ammo. I don't want to Let's see if we can plant can't plunder some ammo from the ground. Ah no, mind. Up ahead. We're making get up ahead. There is plenty more spirit. We actually made it. Not surprising since that was surprisingly easy. Either that or my compatriots are overpowering the content. To be fair, it's not really a game I can see myself of playing all that much. It's I'm fear. You know, in a better game, that would have actually be more fun. But, I mean... You can make a spoof out of Hitler that doesn't... I mean, it just wasn't fun. And I... I get the impression it's supposed to be. Okay, so at least we got some experience and new weapons out of it. We got... I think we got a double XP thing or something like that, meaning we got the BAR and stuff like that.
I might, depending on what my mates will be doing, I think that I might actually give this. The Nazis are yeah, I'm gonna equip the BAR. Why would I get a golden bomb? Just why? <sighs> Let's see if I have m more weapon options. I mean, in a first-person shooter, I consider the weapons to be the most important part. And uh, nah. This doesn't seem like we have... Concrete grenade. I have no idea what that is. But at any rate, we have the BAR, so I'm thinking we're gonna stick with that, but... I think I also want to train some proficiencies. Increase HP. Looks like we have a lot of stuff here, actually. Uh, marked enemies in critical... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Looks like the team is pretty much good to go, so I'll just run after them. Yeah, and two enemies just left, and host left the game, so... I think that will have to be that. My impressions of the game so far are... mixed. I mean, it's nothing special. And I think that is the most damning of all. If you're bothering to make a first-person shooter, then you should actually make something special out of it. I mean, they really had the potential to make the the fun kind of, you know, punch Hitler in the nuts kind of game. They obviously wanted to be, but they failed to deliver in the characters. They failed to deliver in the gameplay. They failed to deliver in the gunplay. And that is why I am, let us see here, because... Uh, last that. Yeah, I am the only one streaming this on Twitch right now. The only one. And the amount of people watching me on Twitch right now can be seen up in the corner. Now, I wouldn't say that Twitch is the definitive uh, judge on how many people are actually playing a game. But it is an accurate judge on how popular a game are. I mean, just look at stuff like Player Unknown Battlegrounds, and StarCraft 2, and everything like that. There's a lot of, lot of free ads revenue coming in from, from actually, yeah. So this game barely reaches up to the mediocre scale for me, and. You know what? I'm gonna s actually give it one more try. See if we can find a few more players. Maybe even run one more mission. I have to say the sound on the BAR actually sounds pretty neat as well. Let's see if the is there a firing range down here? I mean, no, just a boat. I mean, it doesn't help l that this game looks like it should have been released five years ago. And even that is being generous. And... Yeah. So, we're gonna see if we can join a mission. There are a few missions here. 
but most of these is just one player. Uh, we have an assault Russian. Most of these people seem to be want to play the Russian for some reason. We just played Rheingold, so I'm just gonna join. Or rather, I'm just gonna see here. Apparently, there are 48 online players, but we'll join the solo guy in Hunters and see if that works. It because if you're gonna have a game like this, it needs to be populated because Payday certainly didn't work well with bots because the bots would not cover your six, the bots could not stealth. A lot of things was wrong with the bots, and I have n actually not a not much hope that things will be different here. So we'll just jump into this game, see if we can. Camps are out there, somewhere. Okay, so this guy wants to go. I mean, here's one another thing with the game. Uh, the parts in the distance are unnecessarily blurry. And I mean blurry to an almost disturbing degree. So this guy got his... Not really knife out. For him, it's pretty much a sword. Over there. Camp. You are dust. Seriously, that German survived a lot of Cook things. Hiding body. Yeah, you do that. I'll cover you. Ready to go loud should we need to. Camps are out there, somewhere. Okay, uh, so he'll have to take a swim. Couldn't expect more. Have enough. Uh, I expected more. We'll most likely need to time this. See if we actually can do that. Camps are out there somewhere. Yeah, so I've heard. I think I should take the machine gunner here, radio man here. One complete. He's down. Oh, I expected him to. Ah, crap. That is good. I am hitting you in the Ooh. face with a knife. Okay, we got trouble. Game over. Yeah, that was game over because we apparently got detected, so that was my bad. But I thought that he would go left and I would go right, so. Also stuff I don't like, forced stealth, where you basically are given a game over just because you break stealth. Not a fan of that. Not a fan at all. Good, huh? And I'll just basically the just quit this. Out there. Find them Let him do it on out. his own. I'll stay he I'm most likely just gonna return to Rainbow Six Siege. But it was nice trying something different, even if it turned out to be not up to my expectations. So thanks for tuning in, this has been Raid World War 2, and I got this game because I tweeted out that, hey, I'm at work, I'm bored, need a game, and this is what I got. Maybe I shouldn't be that surprised about it, really. I mean, I can't blame the person giving me the game. That was really nice of them. Too bad the game wasn't up to it.